so uh, let me quickly introduce myself uh, my name is uh, crown krishna uh, i have 8 years of uh, experience in sap and i have handled around uh, three implementation projects uh, in uh, ecc two sql implementation projects and two implementation projects in grc in my tenure and i got a chance to work on different uh, applications like uh, ecc bi grc and uh, right now all the latest applications such as s4 hana hana db ssc ias ips you name it like we have all the uh, cloud applications in our stack they have implemented end to end in two to three projects in my current company so yeah that is my experience guys so i'll be uh, covering hana db security as you all might know already okay so let me give you a mm, quick demo i think you guys have already finished the uh, sap basis so i would assume that you are good with the sap terminology or uh, you are at least you have some basic idea about what sap yeah yeah sure uh, if if we, if we if we get stuck we'll ask you there and then only sure 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 i would expect you to have at least uh, um like a basic knowledge of how sap gui screen looks like or sap free front end uh, looks like right uh, i think i expect you to have some basic idea about it so uh, so you guys already have some experience in database side so i would not think that you guys might have any difficulty any difficulty in um, um, in understanding this course okay sap stands for systems applications and products in data processing basically so sap is an erp tool and what is an erp erp stands for enterprise resource planning so sap erp is basically a tool which helps an organization in dealing with its business so as you might already know in the like in basic star they might have given you this intro but i am reiterating the same thing what is a erp and why does a business need need it basically okay you have to understand this so erp is an enterprise resource planning so in the uh, in the uh, in the abbreviation itself you un- you can understand something about it like it allows an enterprise to plan how they are going to do their business basically so in this world like uh, like time is money okay in the business it's always time time is equal to money okay so earlier what what used to happen there used to be a decentralized way uh like uh, let me give you a, let me give you a quick example how the things used to be there like if there is a, if there is a company which sells um bikes or scooters of that sort okay what used to happen a customer used to visit the company so or or uh, not the company itself like uh, the vendor who used to sell this uh, bikes or scooters and what the vendor used to do vendor usually contacts the inventory and if, if inventory uh, like inventory guy checks whether there is a uh, right amount of stock The, the so that he can deliver the product to the end user or the customer if not the inventory guy used to place an order to the um, manufacturing department and uh, manufacturing department if, if there is there are right amount of raw materials that is required to manufacture a bike they will automatically pro, uh, manufacture the bike and deliver it to the um, production department and production department will in turn deliver it to the vendor but if suppose if there are no raw materials with the um with the manufacturing department they have to again uh, procure these raw materials so this is called a decentralized way of doing it so what happens here a lot of time is wasted basically so if 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 a lot of time is wasted what might happen you might lose the business like you might lose your customer because some other guy who is using a centralized system where he has all the data in in under under one roof okay like he can uh, you know in in a single glance he can see whether he has all the raw materials or whether what is the inventory like how many bikes are there in his inventory and how many bikes are available to be provided to the customer like like the people will have all kinds of data in one place that is nothing but centralized system so all the all the, all the departments in a business are connected into one single system called the centralized system okay you have all the data under the under one roof so in centralized uh, so this erp like sap is introduced for the same case like you have many erps in the market which provides specialization for each module but sap is such an erp which provides you the specialization with all the modules that you need 
for running a business so you might ask me like okay with sap using sap can i design a new application you cannot application itself sap itself is a tool which helps you with your day day to day business activities it's not sap is not like java or any other programming language sap is just a tool okay which is used to which is used to help your business right so this is the basic of what sap of what sap does okay so there are different kinds of consultants in sap i, I don't want to go into it because it's another it's a different topic that like we'll be going into ecc and s4 hana for that but coming to s4 hana sorry coming to sap hana it's a bit different okay okay let me quickly start with the intro so guys have you heard about sap hana before and what sap hana is this you just corrected yourself saying that uh, instead of s s4 hana you said sap hana are the two different from one another sap s4 hana is a is a core system is is just like uh, an ecc system like ecc is being transitioned into s4 okay in ecc you have gui in s4 you have peri peri is your front end system and s4 will be your back end system but in ecc you on, you only have gui that is gui graphical user interface correct okay, yeah. hana db that is hana in ecc yes. right that is ecc gui is your ecc okay and pd yes. is your yeah. s4 hana understood okay and sap hana is your database earlier what used to happen uh, earlier uh, when ecc was there people used to have this oracle database correct on oracle database you used to have your application uh, uh, like application layer used to interact with oracle database and oracle used to be the main database later on sap has created its own database which is sap hana database which we are going to see in our this hana is they created or they acquired a company no they have not acquired they, it's their own it's their own technology ah so they, they, they might have acquired uh, they might have Some acquired other smaller company, uh, bits, and, yeah. bits and pieces but not not the entire thing they have developed so, so hana is I, basically the proprietary product of sap sap yes. and it's a very 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 much perfect for uh, sap understood yeah. yes yeah, so you asked so, us about the hana so hana we know the basics that is um, it's a database learns mm -hmm. on a unix operating system in our in environment it's on uh, suzy uh, linux it's an in memory okay. database the transactions are very fast and that's how it differentiates Great. with mostly uh, most other uh, dbs like sql or oracle or pl sql because it's, okay. it's an in memory database and that's why it requires a lot of memory to operate um and um you have said in memory units. database yeah what is in memory database? and have and, you heard anything about row row based uh, search and the column based store something like that have you uh, heard about it rows and column based stores i we are aware of the rows and columns but uh, in other database in, in context of hana specifically uh, no so there is a major difference here coming to uh, like the difference between your oracle database and hana database is that in your uh, native database what used to happen like in your traditional database like the row based search used to happen in the data which will take uh, a lot of time right so when it comes to in memory database which is your hana database instead of going with the row based uh, search it employs a search called column based search it speeds up the search quantity because columns generally tend said, to be less than uh, rows that exactly, is that the exactly exactly and also as you said it's an in memory database in memory database is nothing but all the data that you need all the raw data that you need is loaded into your ram which is random mm -hmm. access memory for an instance so for this so for this sap hana gives you lakhs of tb of data sorry lakhs of tb of ram so that you can do your operation instantly in your in memory database okay it's a it's a like uh, what happens basically is that it's a temporary uh, it's a temporary memory okay mm -hmm. you're basically uploading all the data you want into this temporary memory with that is ram and you're uh, performing your activity there okay once you have your input, once you have your uh, output you're saving this output into the database and once you save your output in the database that is a temporary memory okay you're not saving the data forever in the ram Correct. okay you're bringing that data into the ram for a moment and you're performing your activity okay and you're getting the output you're saving it into your database and that's it okay and uh, the comparison between a uh, traditional database and uh, and when it comes when you compare the traditional database with s4 hana like the difference is huge like if if a calculation if a calculation takes 
some x amount of time okay in in your traditional database it that uh, uh, the calculation will be over within no time in hana db so it's very quick okay it's a hin memory That's database true. it stores data in row and column store and uh, uh, as, as you said it is faster okay than the traditional database so these are the key things that uh, that are that we can say about sap hana as well okay That's it's very good you i think you you are already working on it right uh, if i'm yeah. not wrong Yeah. Uh, look, so I, we we don't work as such on on Hana DB to move transports and stuff like that. Some preliminary preliminary commands sometimes we have to uh, to run when the basis team tells us. We okay. execute, get the input, and give it to them. Mm, okay, that's fine. So and uh, so, uh, okay. Shravan, one uh, second, uh, Shravan. Uh, I I think I may have missed it. Uh, did you uh, introduce yourself? You did, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you, if you don't mind, can you please uh, introduce once more? Because I think I may have missed that part. If you don't mind, I'm so I have, sorry. Uh, uh, to I have eight years of experience, Chaman, in uh, SAP. So I've been doing these multiple implementation projects as well as AMS projects. AMS is nothing but support projects. Yeah. So I have, uh, yeah. I have around eight years of experience. Doing so all in cyber security, the SAP security also is part of the AMS in general, uh, or like which team generally uh, from the SAP roles takes care of uh, SAP security. security there is a dedicated team for security like earlier uh, security used to be part of basis but now security is a different team altogether and it has its own different certification right now yes it has their own different certification security has its own different certification all right shravan thank you please i'm certified in i'm personally certified in grc as per hana and uh, Uh, IAG, it's a, it's a, it's an upgrade for uh, uh, GRC. If you might know, like you are into yeah. the cyber security space, so GRC yeah. is nothing but governance risk and compliance. Correct. Yeah. So, so, so uh, basically, um, your overall experience is within the SAP landscape, and from the last few years, you have also started doing SAP security because now it has been taken out of the uh, basis role. Correct. No, from um, beginning onwards, no, from beginning onwards, I'm into SAP security. I'm, I'm not into okay. this. So do you, do you have like any other do you have also background in the generic cyber security No I don't know Ah uh, okay so so basically you are saying that application security is way different than uh, your cyber security like we have uh, cyber security linked to it like like we have uh, uh, components called vulnerability management but uh, like i'm not but sap it. security can be classified under the cyber security of the organization you as can, well right you can you Understood. can I'm just trying to understand uh, the terminology that SAP security is it related to the uh, cyber security landscape that generally companies have, and whether or not it falls within the framework of GRC which you mentioned. Uh, but yes, that's good. You clarified. Under, yes, so application security and cyber security are a bit different, but uh, yeah, uh, ultimately application security also falls under the cyber security. Yeah. Understood. So, as part of your uh, security role, do you uh, generally also take? Part in penetration testing of uh, SAP applications deployed on other uh, in uh, other Sorry, companies. Sorry, come again. What test? What testing? Penetration testing. No, no, we don't do it. Understood. We don't do any penetration testing. Yes, understood. Okay. So, uh, but, but the, you are aware that, core, but but you are aware that, that certain, uh, but you are aware that there are people who do the penetration testing on the SAP front. Of course. Of course. So of course. Th- those guys okay. are also generally the SAP uh, trained experts, or they are like generic cyber security guys who have been trained with some. Uh, screens and then they just try their regular methods of um, uh, they take help of the security team if if, if if at all something is needed from us they, they would usually take our help and they, they do this actually but it is very less actually understood understood so please carry on very less. Yeah. so yeah okay do you know what hana stands for no man no we don't read yeah. for that so, unless uh, maybe can you add uh, it's okay i'll i'll uh, So Hana is your uh, high performance analytic appliance. Okay, that is its full form. You guys know, like you have good knowledge. Actually, I think it, it will not be uh, very difficult for you to complete this course in ten sessions. I was doubting it. High performance, but I, high performance you know, analytic okay. application. Okay, appliance. Okay, it's not application. It's an appliance. Okay, it's 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 the same, but yeah. Uh, so that is what it is. But where is N here? November. Sorry, it's high performance. Uh, it's Hana, right? So H A N A. So it's high performance mm-hmm. analytic appliance. So where is N here? 
AN stands for analytic. Ah, so AN is analytic and high. Yeah, AN Hana stands analytic. for your analytics. Yes, Hana high analytic, high performance analytic. Okay, understood. Stands so for, high, high stands analytic for your high plans, performance. Understood. AN stands for your analytic. A, A stands for, for your. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So, what is HANA in total? HANA is nothing but so HANA, HANA is, is high performance analytic appliance, and SAP is a system application and products, right? Why am I calling it an appliance in the first place? Understood. So, appliance is because I think um, it requires uh, its own uh, hardware. You cannot deploy this on other hardware because when we bought yeah. the hardware for these, very good, had... <laughs> very good, you're you're good man. Yeah. <laughs> So whatever you said is exactly right. I was about to say the same thing. What else is there? Operating system. These operating system, does this really have to, have to be Suzy Linux or it can be any flavor of Linux? It can be Red Hat or Suzy or it Linux, can, HP uh, Linux. Like, uh, like, okay, that thing is taken care of by basis team actually. But uh, as far as, as far I know, it can be only Suzy Linux, okay? Hassan. Yes. So let's uh, not go. Sir, yeah, okay, it has to be Suzy Linux only, only yeah? not Red Hat. Okay. Okay, so this is the thing. Just so why one, we thing, call uh, it uh, uh, one thing, uh, uh, Saravan. This Suzy Linux that we install, it's a proprietary uh, version of Unix, right? And we need to procure the license for it, correct? When we code. Like that is totally into basis. Chalo, okay. no problem. Yes, carry on, carry uh, like on, on. They, they will, they will charge you. Like there is a difference, right? You are using it up. You are using it for a corporate purpose. So of course they are going to, of, of course, of course they are going to charge you, and you have to take a proper license for it. Understood. Right? So of course they are going to use it. So already, you know, like you're good with this thing, right? So that's why I'm calling it an appliance. Uh, basically, it gives you database, hardware, and operating system as well included. That's why I call it an appliance. So in total, Hana is what high performance analytic appliance. Okay. And uh, why is it faster than the traditional database? You already understood. Why is it faster? Because it provides in, in memory database. database. Stores data in row and column store, and it's uh, so that for that reason it is faster than the traditional. Thing. So if we go in detail, like what does it do basically? It gives us the option multi-threading, right? Hana works on a concept called multiple parallel processing. Okay, so not good because because see Hana has multiple cores, just like your uh, Intel processor, which has multiple cores and threads in it, right? Similarly, Hana has a core. Hana has multiple cores. So you know what is a core? Yeah, core is a, a phys, uh, cores are of two types: for a physical and virtual, which is embedded within the CPU. And each core, and within the core, you have high performance, low performance, high voltage, low voltage yeah. cores. So, 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 so core in database, no, no, it's, in database is a bit different. In, in database, a core is logically divided. A core is nothing but a logically divided database, okay, which can handle separate set of uh, requests. Okay, it's 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 similar to your uh, 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 Intel core, like what you said. But yeah, always remember that in Hana. A core is a logical, logically divided database which can handle separate set of user requests. Okay. Understood. Yeah. And how much? How uh, like uh, how, like if I have to say like how many times it is faster than your traditional database? It is three thousand six hundred times faster than your. So so basically, database. you are saying that the um, core within the Hana database is a logical database within the main database. Correct. Correct. And can Correct. serve various purposes. Yes. Uh, okay. And you don't actually create the course, do you? Like when you are defining the database, you do not create any course. Well, the 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 Hana already, creates by itself. You are already, already served with multiple cores, and these multiple cores will be used by you. So this is by default uh, installation within the Hana. The logical course come along with yes. the database as soon along as the with, along with the database. Yes, True. understood. And then the database is smart enough to allocate various transactions to various logical cores. Exactly. Understood. It's a very intelligent database. It's not like your traditional database. Like you have to create the course separately. No. Okay, okay, it okay, creates okay. Mm. It logically divides it automatically. And whatever the data you store, it is compressed. Okay. And it is stored in the database called in memory database, which is nothing but RPC. So, so the hardware uh, just, just the hardware writes. Out of curiosity, Sorry. now say for example in SQL we have uh, stored procedures, right? Do we have similarly mm -hmm. uh, similar things in Hana as well? Are they also yes. called stored procedures? Yes. 
they are also called store processors okay but we don't discuss much about that in yeah sure yeah, that's thing, a, but yeah, yeah. yeah we yes. so this is called in memory databases nothing but uh, let's shortcut of in memory databases imdb okay so what it does the hardware uh, so the hard drive that we have reads or writes the data and it minimizes to a greater extent and all the database is stored and processed within this ram as i said earlier right that is in memory database right basically so whatever data you have in your uh, hard drive like it takes the data for a moment into the ram and it quickly lets you process whatever you want and the output that you get is uh, again stored into your hard drive Correct. and column store i have already discussed right so these are the ba- basic these are the major differences between uh, um your traditional uh, database and uh, hana database uh-huh. okay is suit on hana or what is s4 hana like you have raised this doubt right what is s4 hana what is hana cloud what is bi on hana yep. right i'll yes. i'll give you a b- basic intro on that as well because i was not planning to give this but yeah since you have raised it i i'm going to cover that as well call it soh s4 core on a cloud bi on hana okay so these are the things that we have so what is suit on hana that is soh so okay when a hana migration happens okay from traditional ecc system that you have so the front end remains unchanged however the however the back end changes so this uh, this is the advantage of soh basically that is suit on hana is that user don't have to adapt adapt to a new system like ecc is a traditional system that we we have been using since ages right since the beginning of sap the end users are using ecc but now what happened uh, so in order to migrate from ecc to like many people will not be comfortable in migrating from ecc to s4 hana s4 hana will have this query front end which will have query applications like applications are uh, uh, like you can relate them to your transaction codes that you have in sap are you aware of t codes in sap yeah t codes are the shortcuts for accessing programs. the directly when entering the codes number. right accessing yeah. the programs actually like you cannot remember the entire program So what SAP has done is that SAP in turn has linked a shortcut to this program. So when you execute this T code in backend, you'll be executing some program. Okay, some processing happens, and you'll be able to see the screen. Okay, that's what it happens. But now these T codes are replaced by Fury applications. Fury applications are more like why Fury has come into the picture. So ECC, you have to use it only in your desktop. right whereas when it comes to your query applications you can use this query applications on the go like you can use this query applications in your mobile desktop tablet right you have more this is more user friendly friendly when it comes when when it is compared to ecc but the thing with uh, this query application is that now while transitioning uh, tra- uh, sorry while transitioning from ecc to s4 now you have to learn like how to use this query application you have to read all the documentation that comes with it with, uh, from sap so you have to be trained on this s4 and you have to start working on it so it's a bit bit difficult for people who are who have been working uh, for 10 15 years or 16 years on the same application if you ask them to move from ecc to s4 it's going to be a very tedious task and trust me i i've been seeing that already because uh, like many trainings will go on sap enable now sap is providing you the solution as well for this problem actually it is giving trainings on how to enable the already existing users in ecc so that they can work on s4 hana applications on um, query applications in order but see many companies so will not be before uh, before hana existed it was ecc right which ECC. had different databases like sql uh, yes. which, like oracle yes Okay. ECC used to be there. That that used to be the traditional ERP that SAP used to have. But since everything is moving into the cloud, like everyone is moving towards the cloud, SAP had to have its own solution in cloud. So for that reason, SAP has developed a solution called Fury. Right. So it has many competitors in the market. So in order to face them, so it had no other option but to bring on bring 
theory into the process and it has given a, a what do you say it has given a, an end date that it is going to stop support for ecc if you if you are not going to migrate from ecc to s4 like it has given an end date so these are all the solutions whatever i'm saying these are all the solutions that sap has given them okay you can either use soh that is suit on hana or you can either migrate to s4 s4 core which which is going to be your front end tv system instead of your gui system right the end users will be working on your front end system which is peri peri applications so soh will basically uh, if you if you go with soh basically you will have uh, hana hana db as your database and ecc as your front end so there is no need to migrate uh, your ecc design into s4 core design so only if the database use, uh, if, we use, if we use if we use soh is it if you use soh yes that is an option so front end will right. be ecc so and back end can be hana that's what you saying hana database yes the oracle the, the, the data which rests in uh, the, the traditional database can be migrated into hana db that's what i'm saying yes so uh, the migration experts does it obviously like you guys so you guys might have been uh, done many migrations right from one uh, database to another database right so nowadays yeah. everyone is yeah yeah go on yes we have done some migration but from the same uh, flavors of database like from sql to 2008 to 2012 and then 2012 to 2019 like that yes you have done it right so yeah. many many people might have done it so it's a, it's a similar thing but you have to make sure that uh, there there has to be this slt you might know right that uh, uh, so it will transform the data from your uh, so, so people use slt what I, what i have saw but that's a that third party tool used, right it's a third party tool like i have seen many people using this slt to transform this data so that all the table data which is there in your traditional database is coming and sitting properly in your ana database like in my previous projects in two three projects implementation projects what happened in the migration projects they have migrated the data from uh, the oracle database to ana database using slt slt is uh, i forgot its full name but it is something uh, transformation uh, client or some, uh, transformation application i think so what what it does like it basically brings the data from the traditional database into the ana database yeah understood yeah so that is soh and as for core as i have already explained you, you said a suit S4 on hana right yeah suit on so hana so suit is swt is it no it's uh, i said suit on hana s is suit o is so suit on, on s u i t is suit suit on hana soh yeah it is suit on hana it's understood. business suit basically understood understood suit on hana okay and as for core is nothing but your next generation business suit as i have explained that replaces ecc or erp right so what it does what sap is doing basically with uh, s4 so core s4 core doesn't uh, involve any database license or what no it doesn't include like sap ha uh, sorry sap core will also have uh, what do you say this uh, sap hana as, as its database it will not have a special license right mm -hmm. yeah mm. and basically what it does is that uh, what sap has done with uh, s4 hana is that it has optimized all the ecc modules like ecc has many modules like fi mm or sd you might have uh, you might have heard these terms like these are the business terms terminologies mm -hmm. for a, for, an, for a module in the business okay fi deals with finance sd deals with sales and distribution mm deals with material management and so on okay. all these modules are basically what happened uh, so these modules used to be vast in ecc in the traditional system and what they have done they have uh, they have tried to compress these uh, modules like if, they, if suppose there are 100 or 200 tables in uh, in fi module what they have done they have compressed these tables and they have brought these tables into 10 tables which are which are called central tables so why i am saying this because hana db will have these tables in it like it will have the uh, compressed tables within it compressed table data will be there instead of having hundreds of hundreds and thousands of tables earlier it used to have like that for suppose let us say if there is a master data in your company like for master data maintenance you uh, people used to have referred to like 10 or 20 or 30 tables but now there is only one table in s4 hana which is your central master data table this is a classic example of uh, when it when you compare your ecc with your s4 hana so what s4 hana has done is that it has compressed all the modules that are there in sap okay but compressing will take a hit on performance right uh, it, it it might take a, a, a hit on performance but for 
that reason only uh, sap has given you the uh, in memory database option right understood, understood which makes yeah. which makes things very quick understood okay as you said and migrating is also a challenge as you said yes there is a definite challenge uh, this, because uh, of this you are saying this soh s4 core hana cloud bi on hana these are what these are the offerings that sap is giving to SAP people who are on ecc yes yes to migrate so that Now, they can migrate uh, yeah yes if people are using sap bi bi is nothing but business intelligence and business warehouse which is used for analytics and reporting Correct. bi is basically used for analytics and reporting if you want to migrate if you, you have to migrate there is no other option you have to migrate you have to migrate for bw for hana bi or bw for hana okay that is the solution which is provided yeah okay so okay. everything is optimized uh, even hcp if, if coming to hcp what happens uh, it, it is nothing but hana cloud solution hcp is your hana cloud solution hana cloud computing solution so what happens in hcp is that like uh, let us say you don't need any physical infra infrastructure uh, installed in your company like all the uh, all the uh, uh, like what what is it called platform as a service right so pass yeah. platform as a service it provides you with uh, with, with the service pass right you you can install uh, your uh, uh, what do you say like they'll deliver you a pre installed package of hana in pass mm -hmm. right okay. and there are different on their own cloud solutions. under the known cloud and you have different kinds of subscriptions in packs and like public your, cloud private uh, cloud so this is similar to like are you are you talking about sap rise or it's a different product it's sap rise has its head yeah yeah okay it it, it it comes under sap rise okay 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 yeah sap rise okay you you are also familiar with this very good so yeah so you have this on premise like we have on premise public cloud and private cloud and public cloud and private cloud are the offerings of sap to provide infrastructure for you okay if you if you are a basic company and if you are a startup company you will obviously not have the money to invest much on uh, the hardware right so in that case you will obviously opt for public cloud services where you will be sharing your data with uh, some hundreds of clients together okay in a public cloud it is it is a shared space Okay, yeah, shared this is so shared space. Yeah, shared space. People are not much comfortable. Like, see, if 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 I am a pharma company, and if I am going to employ this, uh, if I am going to use this solution as a as a public cloud, I am not much comfortable doing that, right? I will obviously opt for a, a an on-premise solution or a private cloud instead. But if I am I am a new company, I am a startup company, and I don't have the funds to either buy the infrastructure and keep it as an on-premise in my company or to go for private cloud <laughs> excuse me i love obviously opt for public cloud just right 